guys, if you love trick-taking games and you want to change things up a bit, check out Vamp on the Batwalk. In this game, which vampire trendsetter you choose to play as will determine which suits are available during the game. But the twist is that while you'll know what suits are in your hand, you won't be sure what value of cards are because you can never look at your hand during the game. You might have number value cards, which go from one to five for each suit. And if only numbered cards are played, then the highest number in the lead suit will win that trick. But you may also have special value cards cards, which are stars, which will always take the lead regardless of suit, and garlic, which will steal that lead away from star cards if played during the same trick. The box conveniently become the score chart for you guys. And the player with the most points at the end of three rounds wins, or if somebody is able to reach 10 points before that point, they will win immediately. I thought that the game was a little bit tricky to explain, especially the first time because of those special suits and how that taking the lead works from those. Um, as well as not being able to look at your hand is definitely a tricky concept, especially for a trick taking game where usually you can look at your hand and decide which number card you wanna play to try and steal that lead away from another player. But after that, I did think that it played really smoothly and it did make sense, especially with that deduction element of trying to figure out what cards you have in your hand to decide which card might be the best to play in a certain situation. I also thought it scaled well from any count from two to six players. And I thought it looked absolutely gorgeous. I love this color scheme and it works really well for this game in particular. You can check out my full review and thoughts on the blog today.